because the lines in in my painting are starting to lead and create that illusion that there is a ridge there that th these lines are traveling over and that's the next step is just getting these lines here for example and start just sort of like dragging them down and and just sort of creating this illusion that there is you know shape and form to the object that it's not just this sh flat shaded object because there's a lot of detail and texture in this apple um, we will get into detailing a little bit more in depth later but just for now once you've gotten to this stage with the blending um, and all your colors are sort of starting to blend together and you've got your primaries and your secondaries together what you need to do next is start really looking at like the form of the apple the way that the lines in the apple flow things like that so for example these pink lines okay so we have a bit more detail in the apple now as you can tell from the last one I, I continued doing those pink lines and keeping that flow happening there and I continued it around here I started to sort of add the detail in the center here added that little shadow um, started painting the stem of the apple added a little shadow and a ridge around here and just generally started focusing a little bit more on detail um, as you can see these lines are starting to flow down here the uh, white highlights are a little bit messy now and they also follow the contours of the apple um, really all I did for that was just make my brush smaller and then just sort of just brush very lightly up and down like this up and down up and down and just followed the contours of the apple it really is very important when you're painting something that has contours that you follow those contours while you're painting it if, for example a sphere you, you really should follow the contours of that sphere if you just go like left to right you're not going to get the same illusion of flow that you'll get if you follow the contours in the image so that's all I've done here I've just added more detail made my brush smaller started like painting in those little details and getting that flow happening around the contours of the image now what we want to do now is add some more detail and th there are ways to do this now firstly you can make this hyper realistic if you want to you can go through and like paint every little detail and just get as detailed as you like and that's fine and that's just a matter of time and patience but for the purposes of this tutorial I'm not going to do that so a quick way of doing that is using texture brushes now so far I've just been using a simple round brush and um, now I've pulled out a texture brush I will include these brushes along with the um, Photoshop file in the link on the side so be sure to check them out so what we're going to do is we're going to load up this little texture brush um, and we'll pick this white color and just so that we make sure we don't make any mistakes what we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer on top of our layer that we already have um, and we'll just call this texture and so what we'll do is we'll just start playing around with this texture brush and, and just sort of lightly pressing and and adding you know a little bit more detail to the edges and you can see already that that's just it's just starting to break up the edges a little bit starting to make it a little less smooth starting to add a bit more detail and yeah texture brushes are really really useful and they save a lot of time and and you're starting to see now that those edges are starting to break up and become a little bit more textured in high detail without us going in and painting painstakingly every little detail so texture brushes can really speed things up what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep painting with these textures and when I come back I'll finish it off by showing you the shadow and maybe how to put these little yellow dots in with another texture brush okay so I've gone through and added a little texture with the texture brush and you can see that things are starting to look a little bit more interesting over here it's a little bit more broken up the lines aren't so smooth and it's starting to look relatively nice I mean we've captured I think most of what the apple you know most of the features of the apple these highlights you know the green in the center I mean it looks like an apple now when we started out it didn't so what we're gonna do now quickly is we're just gonna add the shadow to the base of the image uh, I mean the base of the apple um, just to give it something so that it's grounded on something now what I've done here is I've created a layer called shadow underneath the main color layer which we use to paint our apple on and underneath the texture layer that's so that when we paint um, for example if I just grab this brown to illustrate when we paint we're actually painting underneath the apple and so we can get right on top of the apple and make sure that our shadow lines up it's quite useful to use layers when painting um, because you know if you do paint everything on one layer and you make a mistake you can't go back and change it as easily as if you just deleted the layer and in this case we can paint underneath the apple and not worry so much about going over the top of it or just running around those edges with a fine detail brush or any of that so essentially the shadow is the same process as every other process in the apple it's just a matter of putting your colors down and blending them so when I come back from doing that I'll show you the final little detail of adding these little yellow spots and then I think we'll be done okay 
So, what I've done now is I've added the shadow and I also went around the outside of my apple and cleaned up my edges a little bit. Um, so, it's kind of looking like an apple now, but we want to add that finishing touch and that's the little yellow dots that you see all over it. So, what I've done is I've picked my color and it's sort of just this orangey sort of yellowy color and I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call it dots. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a texture brush which you'll be able to download, um, a different one this time. So I'm just going to lightly brush them in and you'll start to see these little yellow dots sort of appearing on the apple. And I'll try and add more where they're more concentrated, so at the top here and there's quite a few down here. And that'll probably do. Now you might see that they're not really blending in with the image and that's where Photoshop comes in handy because we can just select this layer and choose the blending mode and we can set it to say overlay and now it starts to sort of blend into our image a little bit more but really you're going to want to have a bit more control than that so we've got it set to overlay but now we're going to get the eraser tool and we're going to go back to our set it back to our normal brush and we're going to lower the opacity of the razor tool to say 30 now what this will allow us to do is just slightly just take out some of these dots down the bottom where they don't kind of work and, and just sort of have a bit more control over where they show up and where they don't. If a couple of them aren't working quite well, you know, you can tone them down a bit and not worry. And the ones that are working well, you just leave them. So for example in here, these sort of three here aren't really standing out very well. So I might just tone them down a bit with the eraser tool. And now they're starting to blend in. And you can just do this all over the image, wherever you feel that it's not looking too great. You can just take these down. And if any spilled into your shadow, you can get rid of them. And I'd say that's starting to look okay now. So you can also play with other things. You can play with levels. You could, you know, tweak this in Photoshop afterwards and do all kinds of photo imaging techniques and stuff. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I think that's a pretty good result. So I hope this helped everyone and um, look forward to more tutorials. Thanks. Bye.